I treat the batting cage like it's my science laboratory. I'm a researcher. The players that come in are also doing research, and even the parents or coaches that are close by watching what's going on, I consider them also researchers. If you have an hypothesis, a concept, a theory, and you want to authentically test it, to test that hitting concept, we want to try to get to as close to the game composition as possible. This is why when you watch me do my hitting sessions, I am throwing from a full real pitching windup or from, from the stretch position sometimes. I don't take that non-game-like jab step in and just chuck the ball. These are clips from my recent visit to Brunswick, Georgia. I have been studying depth perception for a long time in the laboratory. I gave detailed instructions to these hitters that we want to specifically want to work on our depth perception. And along with our depth perception, we are associating spaces. The space the ball is passing through during its flight path. Look, the biggest thing a hitter is timing at a home plate are his eyes. The brain needs an accurate message from the eye. When you're transitioning your eyes, right, you don't want to have jagged eyes. One more note about depth perception. When you're doing hitting drills and you're always six feet away, 10 feet away, 20 feet away, most hitters don't learn how to accommodate the further space that they actually see in the game. This is why when I'm throwing batting practice, I try to stand at least 50 feet away to account for that depth perception the player has to make an association with. Another unconventional hitting concept I'm sharing with the players is this. You're watching the ball too long. That breaks all traditional standards with hitting coaches. Watching the ball too long? Yeah, you're watching the ball too long. If you watch this clip, I pause it and show you this is the correct way of doing it. And this is part of timing your eyes and teaching the brain to move faster than the ball is actually moving. Look, if you're a player, a parent, or even a coach, I want to light a fire in your hitting development. In the years of your hitting research, have you found any studies that says hitting swing mechanics are more important than hitting timing? Have you found any studies that says putting more emphasis on hitting swing mechanics is more important than spatial alertness? Probably not, but you will find studies that say hitting timing and hitting spatial alertness is more important than swing mechanics. I'm not telling you not to practice swing mechanics, but what hitting element are you investing most of your time to? For us, it's hitting timing and hitting spatial alertness. This is Dave Orr in Brunswick, Georgia. He runs the Driven Sports Complex. He is one of our authentic certified hitting development specialists. Please, if you're in the Brunswick, Georgia area, Jacksonville, Florida area, Savannah, Georgia, make plans to get on Coach Dave Orr's schedule. The sooner your hitter learns these hitting concepts, the sooner he's going to experience hitting development when it matters the most in a live game. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com.